Nice. Bit rate is good. Hello. Hello, everyone. I wonder if YouTube's got the 10 minute delay on stream notifications like they do with videos. They probably do. That would probably, probably be the case. How's everyone doing today? Hi, hi. Are there going to be explosions? No, I, I, there's, it's scrap mechanic. There's no explos explosions in scrap mechanic. I wish. One day, maybe, hopefully. I don't know. They added a potato gun, but like not yet. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Uh, I'm going to go with no. Good question, though. Notice me, senpai. What's up? Notice me. Hello. Good. Hi. Hi. Good. Happy Sunday. What am I going to do today? I'm going to build little mini cubes. Oh, yeah. Mini cubes. I don't know if you guys have seen the mini cubes. So this is the mini cube. This is the original mini cube. Uh, it doesn't do much. It runs away from you. So we're going to build like a race version of this that races around a track. That's that's going to be the idea. It's going to be like a completely flat track just with turns and we'll have it race around the track. And uh, yeah, and hopefully it'll work. They're quite amazing. It has to, the, the deal with the mini cubes, the rules for the mini cubes is one, it has to be a five by five by five cube. Uh, and two, it has to be a cube that um, runs on blocks because the block movements just make it more derpy than it should be, which just makes everything amazing. So anyways, we're gonna build a course first, um, just like a concrete course and with the black walls again, because all the cubes have sensors like color sensors to sense the walls. So I still think we're gonna need color sensors for the walls versus color sensors for the other cubes. Because other cubes, you just kind of want to slightly go around them. You don't want to, like, completely stop. But if you, like, come straight to a wall, you want to turn right around from the wall, right? What's up? And notice me, Jeff. They are so derpy and adorable. I know, right? Just a Slav person. You're part of Al Magna's one-year live stream? I am? How, how so? What am, I, what am I a part of in his live stream? I'm so confused. What's up, Blue? And, uh, Ollie... American Lumberjack. Do I want a custom Discord theme? I don't even know what a Discord theme is. I'm confused. Alright. Hi, Boom Boom. Can I build a cube? I love your vids. Open the door. Get the floor. Everyone walk the dinosaur. What? You guys are, you guys are coming up with some weird stuff. Alright, let's, let's build a race course here. We've got this nice open section. Um, let's just go up a bit here. And then, and then we'll build up it a little bit higher of a level here this should be good enough i don't really know how big of a race course to build I cannot are you are we, this is really this is such a struggle today for some reason all right let's just just do something like this we'll just do two two wide makes everything easier i don't have any mods on right now so like like uh like the polygon mod pack or anything like that so we're not gonna have sloped corners but that's okay it'll just be like uh 45 degree corners which should be more than enough so it'll have like a little sloped 45 degree section. And this is going to be a really stupid way to do this. I should just do this. I don't know why I'm trying to get up on top. That's so much easier to just be here. All right, so we're just going to... I could also probably just build a section of this and then, you know, actually just spawn it. But whatever. So this will be the interestingly epic straight point. We'll also have to have a sensor on the bottom of the cube so they stop on a red line. And then we can like hide a red line in the course so they all start at the same time. I think you and Moonbow should do a crossover. Okay. A crossover for what? What's up, Olimatic? I, I saw you there. I think I said that right. Make one look like a cake. Okay, well I can do that. Like I mean if you if you want me to if you want me to like um, paint it like a cake. They're all gonna be identical, just painted differently, right? Alright, so that's that's straight enough. Then we'll go sideways here. So do this. And then this will be a pain in the butt. Okay, just like this. And then we'll just put, it's not going to be like, you know, 45 degree. Um, we don't need to put slopes on the outside of this, really. We'll have slopes on the inside, so it's a smooth wall for the cubes, but. And then, uh, and then we should be good to go. All right. Need to... Actually, we need to do one more. And then that way, it's uh, it's a complete wall. And then we'll turn and keep going the other way. 
Southbound. You're from South Africa, right on. What time is it in South Africa right now? Anyways, that's like European time zone, isn't it? Like five hours, six hours difference? Something like that, maybe seven, eight, nine, I don't really know. Pretty bad with time zones. Play Fortnite, oh my goodness. I So I started, I played a bit of Fortnite, like I started playing a little bit of it, and um, the one thing I, I like, cause I, I play PUBG, right? And so let me let me say the differences between PUBG and, and Fortnite for, in my mind, and I'm not very good at Fortnite, I'm not really good at PUBG either to be perfectly honest, but my in my opinion, first of all, the Battle Royale genre is getting uh, ridiculous. It's getting, I don't want to say overdone, but there's a lot of people, you know, making Battle Royale games of all sorts of genres, VR and all that kind of stuff. Um, oh, that's way too big a corner. That's a ridiculously large corner. But between between Fortnite and PUBG, um, I still think I prefer PUBG. And the only reason I say that is because Fortnite is, to me anyways, it seems like the better you are at really quickly building up a fortress, like within three seconds, then the more games you're going to win. I mean, yeah, you have to hit your shots too. Everyone's got to, you know, be able to shoot. But assuming that two people have equal shooting skill, um, the the building skill is going to be what sets them apart. Whereas I find in PUBG, let's say you both have equal shooting skill, it's going to be the positional advantage, like the tactical advantage, where you position yourself relative to the buildings and the scenery and, and the fixed objects around you. Um, I don't know, that's just my opinion. And I, I don't really enjoy trying to, you know, outbuild somebody in Fortnite because I'm just terrible at it. Maybe if I was better at building, I might enjoy it more, but that's just that's just my opinion, man. You know what I'm saying? But I get it. Like, Fortnite's cool. It has its appeals. I, I play the PvE version of Fortnite, too. Fortnite is lame, but the Scar is the best gun. I mean, okay, yeah. That's a pretty long opinion. Yeah, I know. It's more of like a rant. Sorry about my, my long rant, but that's my my thoughts on it. I do like playing a lot of PUBG. Like, I mean, I know, like, Scrapman and, and Moombo and Komodo, we all play PUBG and stuff, so... It's a, it's a fun game, but... Um, yeah. Fortnite, Fortnite for me is meh. I still play it if people want to play it, and they're like, hey, let's play Fortnite, then I'll play it, but I'm not... I don't really... Like, I gave it a bit of a chance to try to play it on my own, but I was just like, eh. Still, still not. Anyways, this is going to be a, a nice, interesting track. So we're going to just uh, spend a bunch of the stream building a track, it seems. Probably should have done this beforehand, but, you know, that would have been smart. So whatever. It's okay. Keep this track for later. Did I ever play Rainbow Six Siege? No, I never did. I never got into that. I don't know. It wasn't, wasn't my kind of game. I was like, whatever. I used to play, the last Rainbow Six game I played was like Rainbow Six Vegas 2. It was a long time ago. Uh, okay, let's just do this. Okay, are we serious? Why is that not, like, really? There we go. Thank you. And then we'll just, you know, we'll just go around this rock and go back that way. Um, and then try and equal out our turns somehow. One right, one left. I don't, even, I don't even know how much this is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. See? Prop solved. Good stuff. Have I ever played Besiege? Uh, yeah, like I played Besiege a long time ago. I haven't played Besiege since any of the new updates. Like I played it when there was just like one world and not really much to do. And uh, I never thought of playing it for YouTube just because there's, you know, there's so many guys who just do a lot of really cool Besiege stuff. And I just could never get on that level. I haven't spent nearly as much time in that game as I have in, in Scrap Mechanic, for example. But, you know, it's a cool game. Like, I, I like the idea of it. And then I know there's like the, what is it, the last Leviathan is like the sea version of Besiege. It's like Besiege with ships. I tried that out too, but again, same thing. I was just like, man, there's some like legendary people here where it's like, I just, I just didn't spend my time playing that kind of game. Perfect. All right, we'll just keep building this lovely, amazing. I know I should probably just, really, just take one of these corners. 
I'm gonna cut this corner off and then have it so I can just spawn it and weld it. That would be that would be the smart thing to do. Okay, you know what? And we gotta put the walls up on it too, though. So okay, so hold on. Let's just let's just extend this out, okay? Because I'm I'm doing this all stupid, like. Okay, there's one. Because this is really really all stupid, like. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Actually, I don't even know why. Hold on, let's just take this corner. This corner. This corner is a good corner. We don't. You know, we don't need to reject this corner. It's it's an okay corner. It hasn't uh, it hasn't done anything wrong. There, that's that's the corner we'll take. Okay. We're just gonna delete this corner because like we're just gonna rebuild this anyways. And then this corner, same thing. We'll just, we'll just put you over here for now. And then this one we'll just delete too, because, like, you know, we might as well just spawn it. The straight sections, obviously, are just pretty easy, but, yeah. There, that's, that would make more sense. Okay. Here to you. Come here. Uh, yeah, and then let's put the pieces. I love your vids. Thanks, man. Thanks, Tucker. 3D Pictionary. What? 4K waffles. Yeah, 4K. I don't have 4K. Make a build for Scrapman's future military base series. I was debating on on doing that. I haven't th I haven't really thought of what I would do. Something like with just a stupid amount of logic and automation would be funny. Um, but uh, you know, I also don't want to like I don't want to say intrude on a series, but I don't want to intrude on a series. One, two, three. Okay, that's a three high wall. That's what we're gonna do. But, because uh, I know he has a lot of fan creations. I mean, if you look at the workshop, there's always, like, future military-based creations at the top of the workshop or, like, on the front page of it. So, it's, uh, I know he gets a lot of submissions for that. It's a cool series. Alright, this is, like, easy mode. You gotta paint all this, which is gonna suck. But we'll get it done. And then we'll smooth out these walls with these 45 degree pieces. And then that should be enough of a corner. Uh, the problem is if it gets completely turned around, it's not going to know which way is forward. But, you know, uh, it's it's not really not really my problem. And that's why the there's going to be two layers of sensors. One sensor layer will uh, see the robots that are close by to it. But they'll be really close range sensors. And then the color sensors for the black walls will be a little bit longer range. So if they see a wall, they'll turn away from it. But if they see another robot, they won't necessarily turn away from it. That way, if there's two robots, like, side by side, they're not going to, uh, you know, they're not going to just uh, turn away from each other. They'll turn away from each other if, it, if it's, like, right in front of it or if it's, like, right beside it. It'll, it'll give itself a little bit of room. I think that's the way to do it. Would, would you ever do a series on the starbound fracking universe i gotta look at that mod you were talking about i know i mentioned in the mechanic minor video that I, I played starbound i haven't played starbound in a bit um but i gotta look at that mod you're talking about i've never even heard of it before i never like i never played modded starbound i was always just vanilla um but yeah i'll have to i'll have to take a look at that mod i know someone commented on that said i might like it curious as to what it is all right gonna just do the best thing to do in scrap mechanic and that's paint stuff and then go to put down more stuff to paint it's so riveting whoops my logo is a 3d render but you lost the save file to the model oh that sucks my logo is not my logo is a two-dimensional photoshop image Drawn by my lovely girlfriend. Is this going to be an AI challenge? No, this is just going to be making some mini cubes. I mean, I could do an AI challenge afterwards with this, but um, no, for now I'm just going to do just do some mini cube stuff. Because I like mini cubes. They're a lot of fun, and they're derpy, and uh, it's going to be the best race ever. Because, like, you know, mini cube racers, why not, right? They're, they're going to be so incredibly slow and terrible, it'll be fantastic. Because they're going to bounce more than they'll actually go straight. So it should be good. Alright.
whoops there we go just go like that and then paint this whole side which is I'm always worried when you like mass click to paint stuff because like it used to I don't know if it still does but it used to crash the game a lot when you'd be just clicking stuff and painting I haven't had it happen in a long long time of course I'll say that and then it'll be like the time that it crashed the game but yeah I remember if you used to like click a million times a minute while you're painting it would just crash for some reason it was weird looks like we're good here though okay cool Call this a turn of some kind. Corner piece. Uh, corner piece. 45. Okay, cool. Make an AI forklift. That would be cool. I don't know why, but without you, I wouldn't be as good in logic as I am now. Well, that's good. I mean, to be honest, logic is one of those kind of things. It's like, you, it's, it's, um... It's like every other thing you do in life. You gotta practice it. The more you practice it, the better you're gonna get at it. And for me, especially, like, you know, I don't... Uh, a lot of this stuff is... It's stuff you can look up, and um, it's nice just to see people get encouraged to actually, like, look into this stuff and, and see how it works. Because, you know, all the logic in Scrap Mechanic is all just binary logic, and you can look up what all those gates do in real life, and they're gonna work the same in real life as they do in Scrap Mechanic, with the exception of, like, you know, the way the ticks are calculated and everything else. But... It's pretty, it's pretty close, and, uh, you know, if you can learn one, you can definitely learn the other. Alright, let's, uh, do this. But logic stuff's fun. I've always, I've always been fascinated by it, and the reason why is I've always loved the idea of writing a computer code or something that can control a physical object in real life. Like, there's just something, uh, very fascinating about that to me. And, uh, I don't know why. By the way, I need to check if... I, I don't know if I have my Streamlabs up. I probably don't. Oh, I don't. Whoops. Why is it not... Is it not set up again? I thought I had Streamlabs set up before. Maybe I didn't. Oh, yeah. Whoops. My bad. A bunch of people were subscribing and the thingies weren't showing up. My bad. Alert box. Okay, that's good. Can I... Can I... Test? I don't know if that's gonna work. Whoops. That was my bad. Screwed that one up. Yeah, there we go. I fixed it. I need to be logged into Streamlabs. So I was like, weird, I haven't seen the subscriber notification once, and I wasn't sure if it was, uh, broken or something. That was, that was my bad. My bad. That doesn't mean you can unsub- if you unsubscribe and resubscribe, it doesn't- it doesn't work. Uh, at least I, I don't think it does. It's not supposed to. Just thought I'd let people know. It should be enabled for, like, super chats and donations and all that stuff, too. Sponsors and all that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm a, I'm a really pro streamer, guys, as you can see. I'm just... I'm really good at... I'm really good at it. It's definitely, uh... Definitely a skill that I have, as you can clearly see. Alright, we're just gonna... We're gonna finish this up. Play some genuine rave thump thump music. Okay. Um... The only problem I have with YouTube streaming is I have to play music that doesn't get me uh, copyright flagged. It was funny. I actually, the other day, I got copyright flagged on a stream by... A, oh, boy. Oh, 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 boy. Oh. Okay, that's good. But yeah, I got copyright flagged on a stream by a website that advertises copyright-free music. And they have this whole thing about how all their music's copyright-free. And then I kind of threw it in their face, and they didn't say anything about it. And it's like, that's... You guys are you guys are the best. You kind of... You gave me a copyright strike for music that is supposedly copyright-free. And, like, at the front of their website, they got this big thing that says, Oh, you know, best source of copyright-free, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, well, clearly not. Like, you guys are... You guys are amazing. So good. Alright. Can we get up here? Perfect. Thump, 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 bump, bump. Good, 
Good stuff. Can we, can we, okay. Boy. All right, so we just gotta do this one here. And we're just gonna put another brace here in case I accidentally delete the one. Because I don't want this whole thing to fall down because then the, the game will just die. Oh, and then we can actually get into the building of the cube. My, uh, sorry, my back is, like, dead today for some reason. I, like, I slept weird, and, uh, I've been in a lot, a lot of back pain. Just thought I'd let people know. $5 super chat from Levy Lures. Love the VidsCon. Good to see you're streaming more. Keep up the good work. I mean, yeah, it's, like, the first time I've streamed in, like, two weeks, but I want to stream more. Like, I should be streaming more. It was, it's been my bad. Hopefully I can stream a few times and uh, keep videos and stuff up when I'm when I move. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Um, moving in a, like a month and a half, two months, I guess we're moving to a new place, and then I'll be able to stream a lot more at the new place because I'll have uh, much better setup for everything, so that'll be good. Bow, 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 bow. But thank you for your super chat. Really appreciate it. Do appreciate all the donations, of course. Oh yeah, there's other. There's also. I hope that I hope that shows up on the thingy. I think it'll show up on the thingy, right? Should show up on the thingy. Did it show up on the thingy? Did that Did that work? I hope it worked. Oh yeah. Okay. I think it it must have because mine showed up. So I'm assuming it did. What am I doing? I'm building a very terrible race course right now for mini cubes to race along. And they're all gonna race together. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, so we got one right turn, one left turn, two right turns. So that's three right. Yeah, okay, weird. Uh, that's stuff's. Yeah, okay, yours got delayed from mine. That's weird, but thank you for the $5 super chat. That's so weird that mine Okay, I don't, I don't understand Streamlabs. Streamlabs prioritizes stuff weird. Yeah, I know, I didn't donate anything through Super Chat. $95? Is that what it actually said, really? That's that's funny. Yeah, no, I, I definitely did not donate $95 to myself through Super Chat. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys right, no, right now. I just pressed a button. It's weird that 95 is the default value. All right, um, you know what? I mean, I don't really care if this is equal number of turns. We're just going to loop that way and then loop back and then call it a day. So we'll just go like this. Then we can finish up this course and start working on some cubes. I mean, mini cubes are interesting to build. They don't take too long. So it might be a short stream today, which is good because I need to like lay down and take some meds for my back. It's just like I'm an old person now. It's just ridiculous. We got back problems. It's like it's horrible. Woke up today with like worst back pain I've had in like a long time. I was like, what's going on? But um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, the cube. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long to make these cubes. I don't know. We'll see. And then uh, we'll do some cube racing. Always legit. All right. Hopefully, I can weld this here. No. Bet you that rocks in the way. Is that rock gonna let me? How old am I? I am 28. No, that rock's in the way for sure. Yep, I am 28 years old. In, uh, well, I guess in like a month. So I, I guess I'm 27. So I'm not, okay, I'm 27. I forgot my age for a second there. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Good. Patch this hole up here. I mean, that's a pretty that's a pretty good course. And then we'll yeah we'll loop this back here. Okay, so let's spawn a couple corners here. And then this is like the impossible part, which is lining this up to that. Uh, 
Outside edge, outside edge, outside edge. Like, I, there's probably some scientific way to do this by, like, counting or something. But, you know, let's just do this. No, that's off. So, you go out more. Something like that. I don't know. We'll guess. Well, it's pretty close. All right. Is this... Okay. Let's... Can we... There we go. Off by what? Two? Is that right? Perfect. Cool. And then we'll just get up. Get. We'll just get up there. And we'll finish it off. And then and then we can actually, you know, build something that's that does something. Do that. Okay, perfect. And then this one here. If I can do this properly. For some reason, like, I'm struggling today with, with everything. I'm also trying really hard not to move my left arm, which is the mouse, it's the, not my mouse arm, but my um, keyboard hand. Because, like, my shoulder really sucks when I move. So it's been, I'm just trying to, like, I don't know, manipulate my, uh, my character very, very differently than I normally do. Which is unfortunate. Make right wall different colors so Racer will know when he's forward. Huh. That's actually a really smart idea, isn't it? That's actually a really smart idea. And then it can just have two really long sensors. So it's always trying to scan the two walls. I mean, that'll work. Except for when it doesn't see. Okay, okay, I got an idea. You're right. No, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Man, man, with the one dollar, one pound, one euro, one some, one pound. I think super chat. Thanks so much for that super chat. That's actually a brilliant idea. Okay, one wall white and one wall black. Good idea. Right wall will be white. Give me a pain in the butt to do those slope pieces. I have an idea. I have an idea for that. And then we can just put a, a thing on it. So if it sees one of the two walls, it's fine. If it doesn't see either. But it sees one of the other robot. Okay, this is going to be interesting. We'll have to see if we can do this. It's going to be hard to wire these things. Because when another robot comes by, it's going to block the vision, right? So we don't want to... Oh, my ear is itchy. Ugh. So we don't wanna, we don't want to block the vision of like the other robot. You know what I'm saying? Like we got to make sure that no matter what we do, the um, it doesn't just like get if another robot comes next to it, it doesn't just start turning to try and figure out which way it's going, right? But that's a that's actually a really good idea. Although, I'm going to need, like, a blueprint edited sensor for that. Because the sensor is going to be, be, like, 50 blocks in range. Because if it's not, like, if I'm here, for example, because this is 32 wide. Like, if I'm here, I can crank this up to 20, and it still won't see that wall. Right? It only, it's only limited to here. Okay, so we can, we can do that. Actually, let, let me try something. If I go... No, I can't do that. Yeah, I gotta edit some stuff. Okay, I got a blueprint edit two sensors. So we can do that. We'll blueprint edit a white one that's 50 and a black one that's 50. And then we'll have two. 
shouldn't take too long to do. That's like a two second job. Bow, 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 as we paint this amazing course. Yeah, because they need they need to be able to see both sides no matter what. And then, yeah, the issue with the other robots will deal with that too. The problem is the more automatic stuff you try and jam into one of these mini cubes, the harder it gets to build the stupid thing. This should work though. Not to be... Uh, oh, yeah, okay, okay, cool. Any suggestions on how I can get the stream to stop buffering? Um, lower the quality of the stream, probably. Or refresh. But, like, it should be good. Like, right now, I think... Yeah, it should be good. Like, I'm at a solid bit rate. Just do it so when the white is on the left, it turns 180 and same for the black. If the white is on the left, it turns 180 and same for the black. Yeah, but then what happens if neither of them is on it? And you're, you're relying on the 180... Um, you're relying on the 180 to be an accurate 180 with these mini cubes there's nothing accurate about their movements like the the 100 it'll never turn a perfect 180 but i understand what you're saying just mini cubes won't do anything properly all right last corner i think or is there a couple more? I think there's a couple more, maybe. At least we're doing mostly inside corners. I should have I should have thought of this before. Actually, it wouldn't have mattered because, like, depending on which way the corner is, you'd have. Well, I guess we could have made a left and a right corner, and then it would have been easy mode. Rather than having to paint all these. It would be also great to just, like, you know, paint all the bearings in one shot and not have to. Let's see if we can do this. Ready? Go. Double click. Double click. Double click. Okay, that's quick. But, yeah, it would be nice to be able to, like, you know, paint all ramp pieces in one straight shot rather than having to do some weird click on every single one of them. I mean, you could also, I guess, save the whole thing out of lift and blueprint edit that, too, but... Okay, is that it? That should be all of them, right? Solid. Okay, so now we're going to make some blueprint edited sensors. So we'll do this one, make this one white, we'll paint it white. Range one doesn't matter. Color mode on, color white, and we'll save this as uh, white 50. Sensor, sensor, so it'll actually be easier to search. Sensor white 50, okay. And then uh, the blueprint edit that. You guys can't see it, but it's, it's really easy mode. You just, like, I'm just going to my app data folder, and then roaming, and then scrap mechanic, and then the blueprints are all in there, and I look for the most recent blueprint, which is that one, because I literally just saved it. And then yada, yada, yada. We can go into the text file here, and just change it. Blueprints, most recent blueprint text file. Color mode, true, range equals one, range, we're going to set that to 50. Shouldn't have any issues, you know, it's just, it, yeah, 50 should be fine. I don't see any reason why 50 wouldn't be okay. Okay, and then we'll do a black 50. So now if we spawn this, this should be 50 range. So if we go... Um, like, let's put, like, a wall here. There you go. See? It senses it. Alright, and then we'll do a black one really quickly. Just like this. Color mode black. Call this black. Sensor black 50. Save that. And then delete this one, because that's obviously not the right one. 
And of course, I closed my app data folder because that would have been smart to keep it open. User, user, blueprints, 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 range, 50. Cool. Okay, so now we can spawn this. And that should be 50 black. We go like this. Oh. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's build a cube. You should be able to just use the white sensor and put it on black. You know, no, because as soon as I click, I bet you as soon as I click on this, it'll watch. This this will reset the range. Put it to black, and then watch. I bet you this range is not not working anymore. Yeah, see, it resets the range as soon as you touch the sensor. Like, you can weld them and stuff, but as soon as you press E on it to get into this menu, it resets the range to 1 because you can't get 50 on the slider. I think. I'm not positive about that one, but I know it resets the range. Alright. Time to build a cube. So let's let's work on a cube. So, I make the cubes out of concrete because uh, everybody loves concrete. It's good stuff. It's good, uh, good material. Gonna need this, gonna need that. They are always controller-driven. Controller-driven. Um, and what else do we need? We need some logic. Probably, maybe a timer. Probably not a timer. I don't know about a timer. What kind of art or art movement is your favorite? I don't really know. Use an auto clicker is faster. Yeah, that would be a good point, actually. Oh, I see. You can change the color inside the blueprint, though. You just use EEE -E -E for white. Yeah, yeah, and 222 for black. Brent Batch, of course, with the... Brent Batch is like the master of blueprint editing. So, he, he's the guy with the know-how there. Alright, we also need a sensor here on the bottom. This will be for uh, sensing the start line. And uh, it'll be a red sensor. Three, three from it? Yeah. Speaking of which, I screwed up. We got I'm missing one thing on this track, which needs to happen. So let's just ground this again here, just in case. Although I don't think I need a ground there. Okay, so this will be the start line, finish line, whatever you want to call it. And we need to do this. Um, yeah. I think this is how I did it last time. Oh, crud. I'm going to have to actually disconnect this to weld this all together. Hold on. Oh, this this is gonna be a, such a problem. You know, what, let's just let's just get rid of all this. You know what? Let's just do this, okay? Just do that, and then that should be enough space. And then this will be the official start line majumner, which is just gonna be like this. So we go like that and like that. Weld that to that. Perfect. And then we grab this and pull this out like here so we have like a point to grab on. And then we do like this. I just was about to try and delete that bush. I thought I would, I was like, I was literally thinking to myself like, man, I'll just right click on this bush and get rid of it. That's not a problem at all. Okay, and then just do this. And then this becomes our super, did I screw that up? Oh, I totally screwed that up. Uh, how did I do this last time? I did this one time, and it was magical. I'm gonna- this won't work. Hold on, hold on. I'm- I'm not thinking this through. That one goes like that. And I need- oh, I re I remember. Never mind, never mind. I need another one. That's right. I used a second one. And it was down, and then the one swaps in, and then the other one. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I did this before, and I was like, I don't remember how I did the hiding line thing. Okay, so this one goes like this. Yeah, yeah, this is, no, not like that. This goes like this. There, and then that, that would be terrible. 
Okay, and then this one, yeah, okay, here we go, here we go. I'm, I'm, okay, I need to start painting stuff. I can't see what the heck I'm doing here. So one of these is a red line. That one lines up, so this one's a red line right here. Okay, good. No, stop, bugger, bugger off here. Okay, good. And then we'll just put, okay, sure, whatever. We'll just, you know, just weld this on first. Let's just weld it on. Perfect. Perfect sizing. And then red line. And then right behind the red line, we put uh, another line of regular gray concrete. And then we can just put a delay on the robots if we want. Please try Prison Architect. I played it. Um, it was like kind of meh for me. I played it a long time ago. Like I have it. I have a, like, I played it, just tried it out on my own. I was just like, yeah, whatever. It's kind of, it was kind of one of those games where it was like, yeah, like I could see the appeal, but, um, it just wasn't my kind of game, to be honest. Okay, so. Pretty sure. Oh, I guess I should move this, shouldn't I? That would make more sense. We'll put this here. Do this. Pretty sure this is just like 90 and then 90. Aha! Cool. So as long as they have a little bit of a delay, um, actually it won't even matter because when that changes, they're not going to fall down that one crack. It might it might screw them up a bit, and it rolls down, so it shouldn't it shouldn't do much to catch them. All right, perfect. So we should be able to do it. I was just wondering, where do we get another minor mechanic minor episode? Um, some point in time, I have like I don't know, sometime this week, I think. I, I have I have a schedule. I I've been trying to do a schedule. Uh, I was thinking like Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe. But yeah, I like that game. Mechanic Miner's is a lot of fun to play. Hard game, but fun. And it gets it gets much more difficult, so which is good. All right, so this is the mini cube base. Not exactly a very large cube, of course. Hopefully, we can actually get this um, built here. All right, and then some simple cube wheels. Okay, and then we need controllers to run this guy. Usually I just do something like that. And then you can get rid of them, and then they're attached to the ground. And uh, this will be forward, and we'll do forward on the inside, and we'll do reverse on the outside. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference. Probably doesn't with this kind of thing. And then reverse, and reverse. And uh, we'll give them max speed, which is 360 looped. So each time they, they're... Each time they're told to move, they'll do a full rotation, which is also part of the derpiness in the movement. Because when you give them a response on the uh, on the sensor input, the sensor kind of cuts the controller, but the controller's got some weird like residual movement. So some yeah, it's just hilarious. That's why these cubes like suck. If they were on engines, it would be instantaneous response. But with the controller, controllers will try and complete the loop or go back to the previous loop, right? So it's always kind of weird how they work. Um, but anyway, so that's that. And then we'll need space on the side here for the two sensors. These two guys. Okay, so forward will be... Forward's that way, right? Yeah. So if forward's that way, we need white on the right side and black on the left. So we'll just uh, grab this guy. And then do that. There we go. So that should that should work. Like if we put this, um, we can go on, up onto the track actually. So if we put this down now. Whoops. 
I think we're gonna actually have to move those down because these things are gonna bounce and they're gonna that's gonna bounce too much. So let's just let's just move those down. But that's good. Okay, sensor. No, I don't want to. I don't want to share this on the. Thanks, 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 game. I don't. I don't want to share it on the workshop though. All right, here we go. Sensor white, sensor black. There we go. So black is over here. White one's over here. Okay, good. Now we also need um, wall detection sensors, which determine if you need to steer away from the wall or not. So that'll be these guys. And uh, they'll be probably like five range or something. Although, actually, hold on. Do I need those if I have the, yes. And this one will have to be color mode white again. Color mode white five. And this will be color mode black five. Oh, another 20. What is that? Norwegian Krones? Swedish Krone? I don't I don't ever remember what SEK is, but 20. Thank you so much. Icon, why do you paint the bearings? Good luck. I just paint the bearings because like it's always the, the age-old question why you paint your bearings black. Um I just do it because I think it looks cool, because orange bearings look kind of weird to me. I know I can just change the part itself to be black by default, but why is my Steam profile private? Because I get a lot of friend requests every day, so my Steam profile's always been private. Gives me a little bit of privacy. Um, okay, so those will sense... The ones in front will sense the wall when you're too close and steer away from the wall, which is good. I'm wondering if we need less than five. Maybe, like, three? Should really just be if you're, like, right next to the wall. Okay, that's good. And then what else do we need? We got the one on the bottom, which is the red one that tells you to stop. That's just a master kill switch. Um, which is pretty simple stuff. Have the four gates for each of these. Okay, what else do we need? One, two, three, and then we'll have a cap on that. Um, two side sensors. I mean, the racers are really simple. Probably something in the front, so that if it senses the front, it stops. It backs up for a bit. Although we can do that with this, too. We can do that. And just set these to five. And if this one reverses this side, and this one reverses this side, then if both of them are up against a wall, it'll just reverse both. That should be good enough. Although, do we even need that? Because if we're up against a wall, there's no way you can get up against a wall. Because if you're up against a wall, one of these sensors probably won't be active. Ah, we'll leave them anyways. Why not? They'll help steer away from... If it's coming up behind another robot, it'll kind of steer around it. So that should be okay. I'm trying to think if I need anything else. Got that. Should probably put those on a... Maybe, maybe some 45 degree ones on the sides also doing the same thing, kind of looking for other robots. It doesn't need one in behind. I don't think. No, no rear sensors. If someone's behind it, it doesn't really care. Yeah, I think just two 45s and then, and then put some OR gates on them. So we'll just feed this gate in here. Like this. These will be OR gates. These are always the hardest part of these builds is to try and wire everything up. Because it's all so compact, you're really struggling to try and uh, make sure it's all... Alright, like this. That one can go to the same OR gate, because it'll do the same stuff. And then we'll just put these guys into here. Uh, that one that way, that one that way. And like, I don't know, 45 degrees maybe, probably. Right? And, uh, like three. Really short range on these ones. Three, maybe even less. Three. Actually, these ones should be really short, too. And then these ones a little bit longer. Because then they'll all see the wall at roughly the same time. Okay, I think that's all the sensors we need. I mean, we need an on switch, which is at the back. Usually there's an on switch like this. Do anything else? So we got an on switch. We got color sensors on the sides to detect the walls. 
no color sensors on the front because you don't need them because it'll steer away from objects on the front the same way it'll steer away from walls. It doesn't need to steer away from objects on the side. If two cubes are next to each other, we don't really care. Don't think the pipe wheels will have enough traction to move efficiently in a race. That is exactly the point. I'm very, I'm very happy you say that because that is 100% the point. Uh, okay, can we... Can, where's the... Where's the switch? Whoa, my goodness. I can't even find the switch on this thing. This thing is impossible to tell which way is forward. Okay, here we go. Go. Yeah, like, look at... Look at I don't understand what you're talking about. Look at, how, look at how efficient this is. Look at how great this race is going to be. Epic race. Yeah. Best race ever. What's up, Darth Vader? Welcome to the stream. Alright, here's the deal now. I just looked at that sensor. God dang it. Sensor. White 50. Here we go. Okay, so now I gotta now I gotta think about. Okay, okay. That's gonna be a not gate. That's also gonna be a not gate. Not. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. Okay, we're gonna have to, what we're gonna have to do is just assume a direction of rotation. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to assume a direction of rotation when, uh, when this thing's not moving. Or when the, when the two, when the two side sensors don't line up. I don't think we're gonna be able to race any more than two at a time. I think we'll have to race two at a time. Maybe we can try more, but I think they're going to get screwed up. The ones in the middle, especially. Um, okay, so this right now will do nothing. Oh, that's because this has to be a not gate, too. But yeah, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chill, chill, cube, 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 chill, cube, chill. Okay, cube. Okay, this needs to be a not condition as well. And then that way it will uh, stop on the lines. So this can just be a, a not condition there. Okay, and then that'll wire up to all these. These ones are really, these designs, these mini cubes are always fun because they're, you gotta keep everything straight in your head. So this should move all of them, unless you put it on a red line and then it'll stop, right? Is that is that true? I can't put it on that red line. That's right, it should be true, whatever. Please make a rocket mini cube, like one that, one that uses thrusters. I mean, maybe. Okay, so... Yeah, so how do we... Okay, so what do we What do we got for inputs now? So these... If it sees something here... Well, this can actually just be wired into that. It's, it's literally the same condition. If it sees something on here or here, or this picks up the wall, because that's a white sensor, right? White. Then it's got to turn to the left. Oh, no, that's that means this one's got to be wired to the other side. These have to be cross-wired. Hold on. This one goes wired to here, and this one goes wired to here, right? So this will turn to the left. This will turn... Oh, wait, no. That also turns to the left, doesn't it? If it sees something there, it turns away from it to the left. Oh, whoops. Screwed them all up. Oh, boy. I don't even know what I'm wiring up anymore. Uh, okay, that. Okay, this. Okay. Is that right? Let me, let me, let me think about this. Any of these turn to the... No, this this turns to the left. If it sees no, because I'm turning away from stuff. Yeah, if it sees something here, it turns away from it. So it turns to the right. If it sees something here, it turns to the left. 
Because if I'm driving and I see the wall here on the corner, I'm going to be like, oh no, I need to turn around the corner of the wall. Right? Yeah, 100%. And we can increase the range of this, increase the range of this. Increase the range of that. Increase the range of that. Right? Yeah. So any one of these turns to the right, any one of those turns to the left. Okay, so uh, I need a not condition on these. Whoops. 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 I just want it facing that. There we go. So not condition, not condition. So you can go forward and, uh, and then I gotta worry about these two guys. Not you and not you. Okay, so if it's not, oh my god, this is just getting so complicated already. So that's the other one. If it's not and not, that means neither of those two walls is picked up, then this guy has to go and do other stuff. Right? So if it doesn't pick up either of the two walls, it needs to turn in some particular direction. Can you have a scream out? Uh, I'm not going to scream. What is Logic Tile Vidge coming out? Um, uh, it's supposed to be, uh, excuse me, sorry, holy cow, I just yawned there, that was aggressive. Um, I think Tuesday is when I have it set for, I believe, I'm not positive, I think Tuesday. It'll be Tuesday or Wednesday. I know I just said that for the Mechanic Miner as well, but the, one of them's Tuesday, one of them's Wednesday, I don't remember which is which. If you make the black and white sensors rotate forward when they see the wall, you will always be able to be able to detect directions. True. That is a very valid point. Yeah. Because then you can just look as far ahead as you want. And you'll know. You know what? It's fine. This is going to be it's going to be super derpy. It's cool. All right. So, if it's um if it's not seeing anything on this left side, then it can drive on the right forward. And if it's not seeing anything there, it can drive there. And then if it does, it goes that way. And then if it does, it goes that way. So this should just like drive now and avoid walls. Oh, right. We gotta, we gotta, here you go, buddy. You are so amazingly fast. Right, so that's cool. Um, that's seemingly way more consistent than the other cube. It looks kind of naked, doesn't it? Like, when you see the cube, like, just sort of half, half covered, looks kind of weird. Alright, so that's a basic cube, and then if I go here, yeah, now, now it's freaking out. It should try and avoid me here. Alright, you're gonna go towards the wall there. And that's gonna avoid the wall. There we go. Keep going, buddy. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Needs more weight, too. Alright, so that's good. So then the next thing we need is to wire up this Majumner guy to these Majumner guys. You know, I think I think Blue's right. I think we need to sense direction automatically because it needs to know which way to turn when it's done. So that is the basic principle of life right there. Okay, good. I should find a way to ride it. Blueprint edit the controllers to go five times as fast. I mean, okay, you know what? We'll let we'll try it just just for now. Ridiculous cube. Okay, let's let's try let's try a version of this blueprint edited just to see how fast it is, uh, and then we can always put it back. Hold on, let me let me see this. I've actually never played around with controller speeds. Bow, 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 Where's the controller speed? Shape ID, Z axis, child's bounds, Z axis, audio enabled controller, position. What's the speed called there, Blue? 
Do you know what the speed parameter is called in a controller? So I can search it. Start angle, target angle, play mode, time per frame. Is it time per frame? That would probably make sense, right? Why it's important to paint the blocks you're editing? Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going to change all the controllers in this. It's time per frame, right? Or is it the delay? Should be time per frame. So if I take time per frame and I drop it from like, it's right now at 1. If I drop that to 0 0.2, then that should be 1 fifth, right? That's the idea. So it should be 5 times as fast. I mean, I'm, I'm either going to do this right or I'm going to do it wrong. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Let's just try it here. This is probably, you realize the cube's probably just gonna like explode, right? Like just literally just explode. Okay, we got that. Blueprint edited, done. All right, here we go. Spawn this back in. Just line it up straight here. L line it up straight here. Okay. Let's uh, just, uh, let's see if it even stops the start. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, oh my god. Um, what? Why is it doing constant wheelies? Uh, uh, yeah, no, it's running up, what the? This is perfect, I don't see anything wrong with this, this is amazing. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no, this is, this is good stuff. Okay, I don't even think, look, here's the problem, first problem. It jumps over the start line, like it doesn't even care, it's like... It's like the roid cube. It's like, I'm going to start the race now. I don't care what you say. We're starting this race. Let's go. Uh, yeah, that might be, that might be just a little, um, all right. Well, clearly we just need it. We just need to send more cubes down the track. That's okay. Oh, oh, is it escaping? Oh, it escaped. We have a runway cube. See if this one does better. Oh, why are you doing a constant wheelie? Like, are you honestly that fast that you're just, you're just constantly flipping on your back end? Yeah, no, that one's, that one's doing good. All right, well, blue flame with the uh, suggestion, um, zero for 10. Not fast enough? Okay, well, seriously, what are we going to do? 0.01? All right, let's do it. I can't go 0 0.01. There's no way. Let's go 0 0.1. Oh, point 0.1. Find next. So this will be 10 times as fast. Uh, and then that'll be it. Uh, and then we're gonna set them back to normal so we don't like you know kill the game. Okay, here we go. This is the Super Cube 5000 uh, max controller speed. Um, good luck, Sir Cube. <laughs> we're not getting that cube back. Um, I, you just at Atlas One, please make a flying cube. Yo, did you not? Did you not just see? Did it <laughs> gotta go fast? Yeah, no, gotta go fast indeed. All right, let's see if we can find our other cube here. So we're gonna we'll put this one down. I don't know why it's always doing that. Okay, here we go. And then just to make sure we can we can keep with it. Gotta make sure it's evenly weighted though. All right, here we go. Gotta go fast. Is it gonna... I wonder if it's gonna glitch out at all. Oh. Yeah, no, that's good. It's... Uh-huh. Oh, it's... No, for sure. Just teleport up. That's that's what we were meant to do. Oh, no, yeah. Over there this time. We just teleported like halfway. Oh, now we're over here. Okay. Uh, Over there. Okay, good. It's a teleporting cube. Guys, we've invented teleportation. 
This is this is magical. All right, let's let's shut. Oh, it it oh it doesn't shut off. Uh oh. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't turn off. It's a uh, it's perpetual motion machine. I. I'm literally trying to turn it on and off, and it won't it won't shut off anymore. Um. Um. Okay. It's like, it's like, um, what is it? It's like a firefly. Put lights on it, and look, you got like a nice firefly going on there. Alright, well that's gonna, that'll just be on the world for the rest of the match now. Someone could probably make a teleporting flyer. I mean, yeah, probably. If you, if you, um, I think what it's doing is it's correcting, it's, oh, there, there, one of them came down there. It's shooting the, the block out into some random direction, and then it's correcting for where the block is, and it's like snapping the whole creation of the block. Um... So there's two cubes now somewhere on the map. That's fine. I'm not I'm not too worried. Oh, now I am. Oh, that just tanked the frame rate. Oh boy. Okay, we might need it. we might need to move this map. But we're not getting those cubes back. Okay, so let's just we'll just take this with us. Jump before you teleport out of the map. Wait, what? I, I'm confused. I'm going to teleport out of the map. I'm going to try and save this somewhere. Hopefully I can. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cube race. There we go. And then we'll just... Uh, there we go. Exit the map. New game. Creative. Green flat. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Whatever. That's what it's called. Good stuff. Got it. Thanks. Cube race. Uh, ridiculous cube, 100%. And uh, we're going to change that so it's not going to kill us because it's ridiculous. Cube race. There we go. Oh, right, I don't have my, my paint tool and my weld tool in their usual spots. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. All right, grab this, drop that, do this. Problem solved. Good. Do 0 0.5, not 0.1. Yeah, well... It's, it's all good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna try and actually make the cube work first, and then, uh... I guess we could blueprint edit them to 0.5, eh? Okay, let's let's do that. Yeah, because they should half as fast should be okay. Uh, where are we here? Control. There we go. Time per frame. No, up here. Time per frame. Whoops. No, that's not what I want to do. There we go. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay, let's see what this does. This should be probably a reasonable amount so that they're faster than the regular cubes. Ridiculous cube. Okay, no. Good. Okay. No. Okay. Dang it. Come here. Okay. Every time. Every time. I spawn it. It's reversed. I flip it. No, see, it's too fast. It's still, it's still just giving it so much gyro effect. The thing's just flipping. That's the problem with these blueprint edited control rulers for some reason. They just do weird stuff. Fast. They'll go fast. 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 Is this going to kill it? There we go. Okay, cool. So, now let's do the wall detection stuff. Because right now, like, this this will make the whole course. It should. It shouldn't have any issues doing the course. Oh, right, except for that. Yeah. There we go. Delete the blocks next to the wheels. But then I lose my cubiness. Does this, does this actually make it better? 
Eh, a little bit. But then it loses the, the ultimate cubiness factor. Alright, let's go cube. It also needs to be heavier too. It's not it's not getting nearly enough traction. This is gonna be the slowest race I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my goodness. No, what are you what are you what are you doing, bud? What are you what are you what okay. It's gonna need it's gonna need some filler weight for sure. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just work on the next ses set of um, sensors here. Which is the white. So the white and the black, it needs to sense if it doesn't see the white wall to turn that way. And if it doesn't see the black wall to turn another way. Okay. So that's going to take like, you'll need a timer though. And you'll need like, I'm not going to have enough space to do all that kind of logic. It needs to be really simple logic. And if I have a default turn in one direction, it'll suck. Unless, what if we put it on the front? And so there's a big white sensor on the front. And if it senses it on the white, it'll turn. And if it senses the black one, it'll turn. No, because then when it hits the corner there, it's going to freak out. Am I right about that? Or we do... Okay, I know what we do. I know what we do. We do two, two sensors. One on the front and one on the... Okay, one on the back and one on the side for each of them. And then that'll work. Okay, sensor. So we go like this. We need two white ones. And two black ones. I mean, hopefully this works. Should. And then we just go like U weld to here. And U weld to here. And then like U weld to here. And then U weld to here. Right? And so now if it's turned like 45 degrees the one way, we know we have to turn left. And if it's turned 45 degrees the other way, we know we have to turn right. So if you and you are active, if both of them are active, it needs to turn to the right, which means it sees something on the left, which is this front guy there. And if both of these are active, then it turns to the right, which is that. Am I right about that? Oh, I totally, that's totally, that's, I need to reverse this. God dang it. I keep screwing this up because I'm, I'm thinking about the boxing cube and the boxing cube turns towards stuff. So it's always, it's always the opposite. Okay. So this should work if we're on a 45 degree angle, I think, right? Cause like, well, right now it's going to see them both. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, except it still sees it there. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This actually, this can be solved really simply with this just being like that. And this just being like that. So not full range on the back, just like, you know, 20. There we go. Okay, good. Now let's just, let's smack this thing up something good. Come here. Get over there. Oh, no. Oh, didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, cube. I'm sorry, Mr. Cube. All right, let's try this again. Let's put it here. So now it sees them both, and uh, it's turning towards the wall. That's not good. It should turn away. Did I screw that up? I probably screwed that up again. Yeah, oh my, oh my goodness. These are detection sides. Okay, okay, that's right. This means detect right. This means detect left. There we go. Now it should turn away from that wall. It was super laggy for some reason. Okay, why are... No, that's... that's, that's definitely wrong now because it's gonna the problem is it's gonna see that stupid corner but it can't be on the back I screwed up get me on the front 
Because if it's... Hold on. Maybe not. Please do a rocket-powered cube flyer for lols. Yeah, for sure. Con, you're a cup. Okay. Make and make con and emoji. I have a con emoji. If you're check this out, check this out in the chat, yo, yo, check this out. And buy Olimatic. Can you not give blocks infinite traction? No, I don't think you can. All right, like if we have it this way, now, now it's just gonna turn away from like everything because it's it's yeah, it's gonna see too much. Oh no. Ah. No. Ah. Ah. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I. I. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I know what we have to do. Okay, we got to do this. Sensor. Sorry, that was really cringy. That was. That was ridiculous. Uh, okay, here's what we got to do. I know where I screwed up. Okay, white goes here. Black goes here. You go to there. You go to there. Okay. So. If it sees the white and the black, this is going to turn to the right. These need to be shorter range, though, for sure. Like 20. Otherwise, it's going to keep picking up the corners. Come on. Come on. 20. 20. Yeah. 20. Yeah. All right, cube. Let's go. Turn away. Keep going straight. Okay. Why are you going backwards? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. How? Okay. Whoops. Whoops. Why, why are you... Why is that not working? What? What? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's the stupid separation line. Thanks, game. Okay, perfect. Fix that. Okay, how are you doing in the corner there, bud? You gonna turn? You know, you don't want to turn. You gonna turn? You're turning. You're trying. You're trying. Okay, it's good. Yeah, then you should go straight. Okay, and then you don't see. So you should be good. And then when you see, yeah, no, you see that wall. Okay, so we can increase those a little bit. These guys here, I think. Five. Maybe make this one seven. 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 I think this should be good, actually, if we just add a ton of weight to it. I think if we have it a little bit heavier, we should be able to race some cubes. It might be crazy. Your tablet is at 15%, so bye. Bye. Con is a little man in a can, for sure. Big green sponsor button. I don't have a big green sponsor button. Or is it a big green sponsor button? I thought it was red, because that's YouTube. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of things, guys. Alright, let's weigh these cubes down. And then uh, just give it a skin. And then I think we're good. Might need a little bit more tuning at some point in time, but it's it's uh, it's derpy enough that I think it's it'll it'll accomplish the task of being a mini cube. All right, and then cap it. Okay, and uh, oh yeah, we can't have anything 
uh, anything. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter, but we shouldn't shouldn't have anything that's uh, black colored on these cubes. And then we'll just make this one the uh, the red one. Something like that. And then we'll just do this. Oh boy, that was the wrong color. Okay, this is the red cube. And uh, it is a race cube, so it needs the stripes. It's very important, race cubes, you know, they got they gotta have them stripes, right? So that's how you know they're a race cube. Uh, flames would be better, but you know, I can't I can't really draw flames well. So uh, we'll call this the mini AI cube racer. Mini AI cube racer. Okay. Problem solved, and then uh, in the inaugural race here, we'll just uh, we'll get a blue one as well, and then we'll race these two and see how they go, and uh, and see if we need to make any adjustments to it. I don't think so though. I think these will be good, and uh, which is good. All right, let's see what this does. All right, so rotate you. Every time. I don't understand. Alright, get you up on the start line. Get you up on the start line. Or jump over the start line. That's that's perfect. We need a bigger start line here. Okay, come on. Start line. Oh my goodness. This is I need a... I okay, flaw number one. We need to fix that. Because these things are... These things need to start properly. So... This is obviously needs to be fixed. Which we can do with just multiple sensors. Oh, I just disconnected that, didn't I? No, I didn't. Good. Let's put two sensors here. Doesn't really matter. Color mode. Yeah. Why are you you freaking out, bud? And then I need oh I need I need to get in there. I should be able to. Hold on. Should be able to get in through the top. Then we'll run a race, and if the race works, then uh, I think we'll uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll be good to go. Not you. And we'll just connect you to all the AND gate conditions. As well. All right. We'll paint this one red, white, and white, and then we'll see if this will actually. Let's see if this jumps the line. It should. Okay, so it's got two sensors now, so it should definitely see that line on at least one of the two. Okay, well that one that one seemed to work a little bit better. All right, mini AI cube race er. Yes, thank you. Thank you, game. All right, we'll build another one, and we'll paint this one blue. And then uh, you guys should let me know in the chat who do you think is gonna win, red or blue? I think neither. I think it's gonna be the longest race I've ever done in my life. And I think I made this course way too big. But uh, yeah, let me know. Put your uh, put your com your bets in the chat now. Your thoughts. And uh, let's get these both up on the line. Here we go. Are you serious, Blue? Are you are you serious? Are you frapping serious right now? Red's not even like Red's afraid of the line. Red, god dang it, Red. Get back here. Okay, Blue's on the line. Oh my god, Red. It's, they bounce so much. They just bounce right over. They don't even care. Come on. Up. Get on the line. 
All right, perfect. This is going to be a stellar race. I can already see it. You guys think purple is going to win? You choose orange. Orange, blue, yellow, blue. Blue, you're cool. The blue is going to win. Blue want to start bad. I agree with Khan. The race is going to be way too long, but blue is still going to win. All right, you ready? Three, two, one, go. Here comes the epic race. Oh, blue is, blue is way faster than red. They're identical cubes, but look at blue. Look at the skill, the speed, the agility, the dexterity. See if it'll make this corner. Blue is just... Blue's got... Oh, blue's afraid of the wall now. Uh-oh, blue, what are you doing? What are you doing? Blue, blue, come on. Blue, stop backing into the wall. What are you... Why are you backing into the wall? Okay, what... Why are you going permanent backwards? I'm, I'm so confused. I'm so confused why you're going backwards. Oh, okay, now you... You figured it out. Okay, he's figured it out. Red is, um... Red, you should be turning. You should be turning the other. Red, you gotta. Red, red, you're supposed to turn around. Okay, so clearly that's flawed. The whole turning around based on the white and black walls. Um. Oh my God, red, red, what are you? Red, what are you doing? Red, red, what are you? Red, turn that way. That, that way. That way. Oh my God, blues like. Oh my God, this is this is so bad. I bet you, I bet you, I can spawn in my regular cube, and it'll beat them both. You want to bet that the cube that's designed just to run away from everything will make it around the course before them? I, I'm going to bet this one's going to win. All right, come on, cube. Come on, cube. Red's doing the course backwards, because apparently the white and black sensors don't work properly. I must have wired them bad. Blue's finally made it. Oh my goodness, I'm going to die on this one. Okay, here we go. Regular cube reds just I don't I don't even know anymore red. I've given up Red has won since he crossed the line. I mean technically. Oh, let's put this back up. So we know where the line is, right? This one's gonna beat them both watch. It's just afraid of everything and it's still gonna win Blues finally uh, finally made it around the second corner. I don't know blue. This is gonna be close it's gonna be between blue and green here uh, red like do I, why did he even bother doing anything? Like, Red's just like, nah, bro, we're going this way. So I, I definitely screwed up that part of it. I'll have to go back and fix that at some point in time and then actually do a proper video with proper cube races. Um, yeah, they need they need some improvement. Oh, Red, Red flipped himself over. This is good. You know, that's the other thing they should have. They should have pistons to right themselves when they flip. You are a stellar piece of technology. Do you know that? You are, you are so stellar. Let's just, you know, let's just hit you back up. Can we do that? There you go. No. There you go. You know, you know, figure it out, Red. Figure, figure it out. I don't, I don't know what you're doing anymore. Just, just, just follow the wall that way. You know what? You're, you're not even, you're not even doing what you're supposed to be doing. Blue is, uh, blue's on its side. Okay, perfect. He's definitely, definitely needs some pistons to put them up straight. Blue, can we... Oh, Blue's really, really stuck up here. Oh, Blue, oh boy. Hey, buddy. We'll just, uh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Uh, I don't know why that's so laggy. There we go, that's better. Uh, this one is stuck up against the wall, that's okay. We, we can just direct it a little bit. No, direct it. Come on, turn away from me. Turn away from me. Not towards me, away. Come on, you should do it. You should do it. You've done it before. You know what? Let's just... Let's just, let's just put you down here. Come on. All right, blue and red are... Uh, blue and red are getting at it. You know what? This, like, this is so much easier. I don't even know why we need this. Because, like... Clearly, the solution to this is just more cubes. Like, this one is really... This one's just gonna... No, don't, don't punch the wall, though. Alright, here we go. This is the better version of red. Alright, here we go, red. Red versus red. Let's go, buddy. Look at that. Now you're, now you're gonna get it. Now you're gonna get it. That cube is gonna show you his boss. No one's won the race yet. Blue is... I mean, maybe. Oh my goodness. Come on. Come on, red. Fight the other red. The green one is slowly making its way around the wall. It's doing it. It's coming this way. Alright, here comes red. It's gonna attack the wall. Yeah, no, it's... 
Yeah, you fight that wall. You show him who's boss. All right, get going towards blue. You know what? Chase blue. That's a good idea. There you go. Good speed. All right, no, it's red. Are you serious, red? You're just causing problems for this one now. Look, he's afraid of you. Oh my god, you're you're so incompetent. Yeah, no, this is amazing. Amazing. Okay, you know what? Let's just flip. Yeah, I know that. That's what was supposed to happen for sure. Let's just make sure we, you know, keep red going in the same direction it was going in. Don't want to ruin the. Uh, you know what? You're gonna you're gonna go back up. That's fine. Uh, whoops, a little bit laggy there. They there's some weird stuff going on in this map. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was a frame rate killer. All right, let's go, Cube. All right, Blue's gonna win the race. Blue's actually doing something. Uh, the boxing cube's trying to fight the white wall here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, no, you're... Okay, you were a disaster. Fantastic. Alright, Blue's slowly gonna make its way to the end here. Come on, Blue. You guys actually thought Blue was gonna do it. I know, right? Like, Blue's... Here comes Blue. Red's... I mean, the question is, is Red gonna do a full lap in reverse before Blue does a lap in forward? This is close. Red's almost done the full reverse lap. I don't know, guys. Red might do the full reverse lap. What's up, Mateo? I hope I, I can't remember if I said that right. I do remember you from the last stream because you corrected me on how to say your name. And I, I don't know if I just said it right. I probably didn't. Red is confused, backwards, annoyed by green, and it is a fight with his brother. Blue is trying to do his best, and green is having disagreements with the walls. I mean, pretty much, but, like, red's gonna win. Red did, like, a backwards lap faster than blue could do a lap forwards. Like, who wins? Do you... Do you count... Do you count that? Then the green ones, the green ones turning around and going backwards now. So obviously uh, these cubes are flawed. All right, well here comes blue. Are you gonna? You're not. You're not even gonna. You're not even gonna finish. Perfect. Amazing. What a race. What a successful race. I would say. That race is 10 out of 10. You ever been to like an F1 race and like right off the starting line or like NASCAR? If you go watch NASCAR, if you're really lucky, this will happen once every so often. Um, you'll see one of the cars will just decide, I don't want to turn left anymore. I want to turn right. And he'll just turn around and go backwards against traffic. Totally happens. Totally legit. Uh, that's basically what we had here. Red won the race in reverse going against traffic and uh, no one cared. No one stopped him. There were no collisions. It was a good time, but, uh, but yeah. But anyways, guys, I have been streaming for an hour and a half. I, um, I am going to end the stream here because as much as I'd like to keep streaming, I do need to lay down. My back is, like, dead, and it really, I've been in a lot of pain for some reason. So I do have to go take some, like, Tylenol and, uh, and then lay down, which would be good. I am going to work on these cubes more. I think there's some flaws with this cube. I like the black and white wall idea. I might, I don't know if I'm going to keep that or do something a little bit different, but I definitely need to make the uh something a little bit better but uh yeah i need to i need to do it but uh i'll, I'll make a video at some point in time of these cube racers i'll, I'll definitely improve them because these ones are terrible green's still having a party there in the back but make sure you guys hit that like button down below check out the discord links in the description of course and uh make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we're almost at sixty thousand, probably pretty soon and uh, i really appreciate all you guys coming out to the stream i know i was a little bit later today we actually recorded multiplayer monday today so i'm gonna go lay down and then wake up and edit multiplayer monday so we gotta do that but uh make sure you guys check out the uh the discord it's always good times and uh, i'll always be there for you know if you message on the discord or whatever um it, it's really the best place if you want to get in touch with me or whatever but uh yeah did we hit 60k did we actually hit 60k i'm gonna i'm gonna check right now Live counts. Oh, dang. 60,009 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for 60K. Make sure you go in the Discord, guys. And uh, go in the Discord and let me know what you guys want to do for 60K subscribers. I didn't do anything for 50K. I know that. Go into the questions and suggestions or maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe the mods will create a new 
uh, channel for 60k suggestions but go into questions and suggestions and let me know what kind of a thing you want to see for 60k uh, you know like obviously appropriate keep it appropriate it doesn't have to be something in scrap mechanic could be whatever you want you want me to do like something in real life you want me to do you know whatever let me know what you guys want to see for 60k and uh yeah for me it's 59 926 so you got to go to live counts live count says 60 but yeah let me know and uh, as always i hope you guys enjoyed the stream we'll see y'all next time bye